Hey guys, welcome back to another Unity Particle System tutorial. Today we're going to be making a rocket boost particle system for either a flight simulator or some other kind of flight game you have going. Uh, here, you're going to be able to make something that looks like this with like a trail. I'll show you a different angle before we get into it. So you know what you're getting into. So yeah, you'll make you'll be making two trails. And that's what we're going to be doing. So let me just hide these particle systems. And actually, I'll put a new game object and just so you, it can be hidden. Okay. So under your spaceship or whatever is making the particles, you're going to want to add a particle system and then you're going to want to bring the particle system out to where it's supposed to go so mine would go in the engine and then depending on how big your thing is in the shape tab you're gonna make I'm gonna make mine a circle personally and then scale the radius way down. And then also I'm going to have to make the start size way smaller as well. And now, I'm because I'm doing a spaceship, my particles won't be shooting out. They'll actually just stay where they are that'll give it a thing of zero so let me just bring this where it needs to be okay so now if we do this oh in the simulation space we're gonna want to make the uh, thing the world so now it'll make at least a trail so now we're going to make the life the lifetime just 0.125 ish and the duration 0.25 yeah uh, you might want to make your radius of your circle a little more if you have a little more i need to make my start size smaller i think 0.13 is good. Now, in emission, I'm going to add a burst and make this happen 5,000 over time with a count of 100. And then, now, as you can see, it makes a better trail with less gap. And let's make my start size a little smaller. 0.2 and readjust where it comes out. And now I'm going to make my color orange. You can do whatever color you want, but like a light orange. And in the size over lifetime, you're going to want to activate that. And then in size, we're going to make this be this kind of graph. And then bring this down to 0.25. Let's check this out. It looks pretty good, but we're going to want to maybe increase the size. Let's see what it looks like if we try it again. Looks pretty good. Let's maybe bring it in a little more. So it hides better. That's looking pretty good. So 
once you're satisfied with what you have, like I am right now, you're going to want to duplicate your particle system if you have multiple engines or whatever and bring it over. Actually, just go here and make this negative the X position that it already is. Let's see. And there we have it. Rocket boosters for my spaceship. Uh, I'm making a video for how I made this spaceship in a couple days if you want to see that. And yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you guys can make uh, rocket boost trails as many times as you want now and as easily as you can. If not, just keep re-watching this tutorial. I'm sure you'll get it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!